the final out. Emmers went deep left field. This ball is gone. Way out of here by Sue. Hey, this kid's got great power. It's time to hear from the players and coaches. This is the BYU Baseball Post Game Show on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Let's rejoin the voice of the Cougars, Greg Rubel. All right, then. Welcome back to Miller Park here in Provo, Utah. We're just under 1,000 fans were on hand on a brisk night to watch BYU defeat Milwaukee by a score of 11-8 to in the first ever meeting between the Cougars and the Panthers in this feline battle on this brisk evening in uh, Utah County, BYU 11 runs on 15 hits with a single error. Milwaukee had 8 runs on 11 hits. And as noted a moment ago, the Panthers' runs all came late in this one. BYU led 3 nothing after 3, 6 nothing after 4, 7 nothing after 5. Scoreless sixth, and when BYU's leading after six, they've been undefeated this season. They stay undefeated with that particular trend. But it was after the sixth inning that the uh, Milwaukee bats began generating uh, some heat, and it was a seven nothing after six. Then the Panthers make it seven three with three in the top of the seventh. BYU a good answer with four in the bottom of the seventh. So at that point, BYU was up by a score of eleven to three, an eight run lead for the first time. But the Panthers scored the final five runs of this game: four in the eighth, one more in the ninth, to make the final score eleven. To eight, BYU a winner, and the Cougars by winning go to nine and three on the season. Best twelve game start since the 2016 campaign for BYU. Cougs now nine and three uh, uh, in their twelfth game, and Milwaukee falls to six and four in this now their tenth game of the season. BYU threw five guys out there tonight. Uh, Jordan Wood went six and two thirds. Uh, Jordan gave up uh, five hits, uh, three runs. They were not earned in that uh, seventh inning when the Milwaukee made its first uh, real push in this game. So Woody goes six and two thirds with five hits, three runs, uh, no earned runs, uh, one walk, seven strikeouts. His career high is nine, finishing with a pitch count of 104 on the night. His ERA uh, does drop uh, to 1.88 as no runs tonight allowed were earned uh, against Jordan Wood. Uh, Blake Inouye came in uh, through a third of an inning. Uh, Bo Burrup came in through a third of an inning. Uh, he allowed three hits and three earned runs. Uh, ben Weiss threw two-thirds, allowing a hit and a run that was earned. And then Reed McLaughlin finishing things off. Did give up two hits and a run, including an earned run. But the strikeout to end the game as BYU does finish it off in the ninth with a K at the very end from the freshman Reed McLaughlin. Uh, no decision for Reed in this one. No save was awarded tonight. But Reed did come in two tonight with a record of 3-0. And as we said during the broadcast, uh, first freshman to have wins in his first three decisions in a long, long time. Coach Mike Littlewood is joining us on the headset as BYU polishes off this three-run win, 11-8. Coach Littlewood, congratulations on home win number 90 for you in your yeah, BYU you. career. I saw that in your tweet today. Yeah, yeah. I didn't realize that. No, these like numbers time, pop up. Time flies. Yeah, yeah good things. Uh, and I'll tell you, the, the 7 nothing run, a 7 nothing lead came in handy tonight. It really did. And I... You know, I well, I didn't send a player up because I just had a little conversation with the team. I felt like we, we got up 7-0 and the dugout got flat. We felt like the, the game was over. And I just let them know that a good team like this is not going to quit. Um, Division One baseball teams will play until they get 27 outs. And so um, we learned something. We, we got, I think we, we, fortunately we have enough guys in the pen that can come in and shut stuff down. We had uh, Drew Zimmerman kind of waiting in the wings. He, he was going to go to their next guy who had three ropes tonight. Yeah. So... Um, yeah, as good as a win was, it leaves a little bitter taste in your mouth when you when you end like that. Jordan Wood was in control for the longest time tonight. He really was. I, I don't know if he. I don't think he got tired. His velocity was still ninety ninety one uh, on his last couple of pitches. I think we have a guy picked off at second base, and, and Carson drops the ball, and and I think he like Jordan wasn't upset, but he's kind of like took a deep breath and oh man, and then he gets a ground ball to short that we boot. And I think at that point he's like, "What can I? What can I do?" So I I sent Coach Bradshaw to see if he wanted to try to get their their nine hole hitter, their lefty, and and he wanted he wanted to try to get him and just uh, fell behind and left the ball up in the middle of the play. But he did a great job. I mean, he was as sharp tonight uh, as I've ever seen Jordan Wood. There was a point to a uh, point in the evening where I think he'd thrown seventy one pitches, fifty one for strikes, and it seemed almost every count he's up zero two. Yeah, he had he had four once he settled in. First inning wasn't real sharp, but once he settled in, he had four pitches working for strikes, and and when you're doing that, it's it's pretty incredible. And I felt bad. I wanted him to finish that that last inning and just kind of go out on a high note, uh, under ninety pitches. It's not always doesn't always work out the way you want it to. Can you stick with us through the break? Absolutely. All right, we'll take a brief break. We'll come back and continue our conversation, wrap things up with Coach Mike Littlewood. His Cougars win it tonight by a score of 11-8 to eight over Milwaukee, and BYU now 9-3 and three on the year. This is Cougar Baseball on the W.TV and the new skin, BYU Sports Network. This is BYU Baseball on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. 
BYU, uh, BYU 11 and Milwaukee 8 is our final score tonight. Uh, BYU 11 runs on 15 hits. Milwaukee's 8 runs come on 11 hits. And all the runs come late in this game. 3 in the 7th, uh, 4 in the 8th, and 1 in the ninth for the Panthers. BYU enough runs to hold on and win this wing and get to 9-3 and three on the year. All right, so Greg Rubel visiting with uh, Mike Littlewood, head coach of the Kooks here at the press box at uh, Miller Park. And uh, a little bit of pitching talk in the first segment, but, uh, man, your hitters tonight. Uh, of your position players, everyone got at least one hit except for Brian Sue. DJ McNew sees his first home run as a BYU Cougar. You saw a couple hitting streaks go to eight for Keaton Kringlin and nine for Noah Hill. Good hitting, great, great hitting tonight. Yeah, you know, the, the one, the, the MO of our, our team over the years has been putting great at-bats together one through nine just making that pitcher work and work and so I, I like to see that all the hits spread out uh, it's nice to to get 15 hits you don't want to see them from the one two three hitters and then everybody else goes over so uh, I, I like I like how it's spread out a little bit and yeah DJ came in saw two sliders before in that same at bat where he hit the home run and, and uh, kind of got fooled a little bit but uh, fooled me twice <laughs> but he didn't fool him th- the third time he sat back and hit it a long way and, and DJ was a shortstop at his junior college uh, played a little third in the fall and we put him at second. Second's the, the least amount of time at, 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 uh, position-wise at second. So to put him out there, I kind of threw him to the wolves a little bit, but I thought he did a nice job. A couple of plays uh, got to the outfield tonight, the plays that maybe might have been made uh, off a glove. Uh, how do you feel the outfield generally played things tonight? Well, I thought it was good, but um, Jelly, Danny Jellich usually makes that play. The, the ball that was hit, I think it was in the eighth inning to lead it off. So he usually makes that play, especially when the ball hits, it, hits his glove. But our outfielders are tremendous. I mean, they cover from foul line to foul line. If the ball's up there for four seconds, we're going to catch it. Um, that was unfortunate tonight. But, you know, Bo Burrup came in and, and left the ball up in the zone. And you could tell just how good a hitting team this is when you start making mistakes. Woody was so good for the time he was in. And it just kind of shows you you have to hit spots against this team. This was a team averaging better than six runs a game coming in, about ten hits a game coming in. You saw how many runs they scored against Arizona on the weekend. Yeah. So keeping them down as long as you did through really you know, six complete innings was uh, uh, was good work by the staff. Well, and they're, they're just a big physical athletic team, um, and, and they, they're they going up there hunting fastballs. I mean, if you if you leave a fastball over the middle of the plate or even close, they're going to put a good swing on it. And so it, it just it just goes to show how good Jordan was tonight, and and Reed was really good too. And Blake came in and did a nice job shutting things down. And and really, I was upset more than anything tonight about about the balk when Ben Weiss doesn't stop because of the pitch before I told him you you have to stop, and then the next pitch he balks him in, and so it's frustrating. And I sometimes come up from a junior college where maybe the umpires aren't going to call that all the time. But these guys, all these guys that work professional baseball, they're going to call that. And so you think so? He kind of rolled through it. He, yeah, he yeah. kind of just rolled through it a little bit. Didn't come set all the way, um, and he had done it a couple other times. And and um, so I guess in in a the silver lining is we can work on those things and and get better. And we're still winning games and and making mistakes like that. And so um, you know. That's the, the one thing we need to get better every single day. Well, you're getting weekends off to great starts with wins on Thursdays and Fridays. You're getting games off to great starts. You got a 3 nothing lead, 6 nothing lead, 7 nothing lead. That's how you win games. You play in front. Yeah, it, it takes a pressure off. It, to win the series, it takes the pressure off when you win the first game. And, and to get on the board uh, early in the game is, is really important. Although the Utah Valley game on Wednesday, we were down 1-0 for four or five innings for five innings and, and then in, in the fifth we answered and, and that's what I like about this team we've won games different ways we, we've blown out a couple teams and put up 11 at least a, a couple times and then we had to come back and, and uh, score in the eighth in the bottom of the eighth to, to beat Utah Valley so this team will plug away they'll grind they'll fight they're not going to quit just like every other team yeah, BYU's proven adept at coming back you have three wins when the other team does score first you're three and three but when you do score first you're now six and oh so it's working out real well getting out in front we'll take them any way we can well congratulations on the win tonight and you've got three more scheduled with these guys we hope to get them all in right absolutely yeah we'll keep our fingers crossed for the rain I think tomorrow might be one of those days where you just come out and uh, hope for the best and w- when we get a couple hour break we go play and when it starts snowing we, we get off the field so it'll be frustrating but our guys are our guys are ready we'll just go in the clubhouse and play ping pong and when they tell us to play we'll play we hope for the best mike congrats again thanks greg all right that's coach mike littlewood byu is a winner tonight 11 8 over at milwaukee and you heard it here on the w.tv and the new skin byu sports network for more west coast conference broadcasts features and information you can go to watch.stadium.com that's watchstadium.com this has been an exclusive performance and presentation of the w.tv on stadium good night You've been listening to live coverage of BYU Baseball on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. BYU Baseball is a production of BYU Athletics in association with BYU Broadcasting. 
BYU Baseball is an exclusive presentation of the new skin, BYU Sports Network.